Welcome to Trinod Chemist Classes. In this video, we Intermediate Public Examinations IPE 2024 is someone in Chi. 60th quarter metal 120 series of Waganka. Chemical thermodynamics in Chi. Very short answer type questions. Kuni Chodabotna. In the Kamundi video, Lomana. Yes, I look. And four marks questions that is short answer type questions to some. Allah gave a padi pan in the video lomanam. E very short answer type questions. Almost under topic to some that is last name to stay environmental chemistry. Tarawat is kunte can can group 14 elements, group 13 elements, S yes block elements, hydrogen its compounds, chemical equilibrium, acids, bases, states of matter. This video is called Chemical Thermodynamics. This is two marks questions. This is the possibility of some important and unimportant topics in this video. Lo Thank you for watching Trinath Chemistry Classes. Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel. In this video, we have a tentative way to do this. So, we have two marks questions. E two marks questions lo tis kunte kankand most important point to e environmental chemistry niche mano ke rundi questions osna so kacche tanga environmental chemistry mano focus thayal right adhe vidanga mano ki e yes block elements group the hydrogen its compounds yes block elements group thirteen and group fourteen elements niche either two plus two le kinda vaka rundi chapters niche rundi four marks niche raudan ka vaka samundi. If you have a mix of the thermodynamics, you can use 4 marks and 2 plus 2. You can use the last 2 to 3 years. This thermodynamics is 2 plus 2. And you can use the chapter 2 marks questions. You can use the chapter 2 marks questions. You can focus the chapter 2 marks questions. So, you came to the mode and it's the first, first question. What are extensive and intensive properties? Give examples. The properties which depends on its quantity are called extensive properties. The properties which depends, which depend on its quantity are called extensive properties. Examples, entropy, enthalpy, Gibbs free energy. And intensive properties means the properties which do not depend on the quantity are known as intensive properties. So examples, temperature, pressure, specific heat. So the quantity may depend on the extensive on term. Quantity may depend on what now known the intensive properties. Next, what are open system, closed system and isolated system? So we have direct mood you need two one plus one can the start one Open system means this is a system in which both matter and energy is being exchanged with the surroundings. Both exchanged, the both matter and energy. Whereas closed system means this is a system in which only energy is being exchanged with the surroundings but not matter. But not matter. Isolated system means this is a system in which neither matter nor energy is being exchanged with the surroundings. So between system and surroundings, if both matter and energy are transferred, exchanging, it is called open system. Only energy means it is a closed system and neither energy nor matter means isolated system. Next one is define a system, give an example. Anything which is under observation is called a system. Anything which is under observation is called a system. So whatever we are anything, suppose if you take a pen, if we are more observing, it is called a system. The next one is state third law of thermodynamics. According to the third law of thermodynamics, the entropy of any pure, any pure crystalline solid approaches zero as the temperature approaches absolute zero. The entropy of any pure crystalline solid, any pure Crystalline solid approaches zero as the temperature approaches absolute zero. Mathematically, it is expressed as limit t tends to zero. Yeah. 
יש איזה כל תאוזי. Limit t dash to zero, yes is equal to zero. Mathematically, we are representing as like this. Next one is state, second law of thermodynamics. So according to the second law of thermodynamics, all spontaneous process are irreversible. According to second law of thermodynamics, all spontaneous process are irreversible. Or we can also state as heat cannot flow from a cooler body to a hotter body on its own. Heat cannot flow from a Cooler body to a hotter body on its own. Or we can also state like this. It is impossible to construct a perpetual motion machine of second kind. That is a machine working in cycles which transforms heat from a lower temperature region without intervention of any external agency. Energy. So what are the delta H signs conventions for exothermic and endothermic reactions. So we know that exothermic reaction means in which heat is released, whereas in endothermic means heat is absorbed. So for exothermic reactions, delta H is less than zero, whereas for endothermic reactions, delta H is greater than zero. What is the relationship between Cp and Cp? So Cp minus Cv is equal to R. Cp minus Cv is equal to R. Cp is the heat capacity at constant pressure. Cv is the heat capacity at constant volume. Next, give the relationship between delta H and delta U. So, delta H is nothing but change in enthalpy. Delta U is change in internal energy. These two are related as delta H is equal to delta U plus delta N Rg, where delta N Rg, delta N G is equal to number of moles of gaseous products minus number of moles of gaseous products minus number of moles of gaseous reactants. Number of moles of gaseous products minus number of moles of gaseous reactants. Next one is explain the relationship between Gibbs free energy and equilibrium constant. So delta Z0 is equal to minus RT ln K where R is the gas constant T is the temperature and K is the equilibrium constant. K is the equilibrium constant. So we can also represent as like this. Delta Z0 is equal to in place of Ln, we, have, we can write minus 2.303 RT. Log K. log k base 10. Base 10. So this is the relation between Gibbs free energy and equilibrium constant. So state the first law of thermodynamics. The energy of an isolated system is constant. According to first law of thermodynamics, the energy of an isolated system is constant. Energy is neither be created nor be destroyed, but it can be transformed from one form to another form. So it is impossible to Construct a perpetual motion machine of first kind. So, in isothermal free expansion of an ideal gas, find the values of Q and delta U. From first law of thermodynamics, we know that delta U is equal to Q plus W. So, manaki isothermal process and taken. The process which is carried out at a constant temperature is called isothermal. So, as temperature is constant, what happens? Delta U becomes zero. Delta U becomes zero. Right? Then, if in free expansion, free expansion means there is no external pressure. That's why W is becoming zero. So, if Q, W is becoming zero and Q, sorry, Q is becoming zero and W is becoming zero, that's why Q is also zero. So, in isothermal free expansion of an ideal gas, find the values of Q and W, which is question is like this. So, as the process is isothermal, we know that temperature is constant. So, as temperature is constant, internal energy remains constant for an ideal gas. Delta U is equal to zero. Then, as gas is expanding free, free expansion, P external is zero. That's why W is also zero. So, as Q and W are zero, sorry, delta U and W are zero, Q is becoming zero. Q is becoming so these are the some of the 
questions from this. So along with these questions, along with these questions, we need to already for four months study questions to name and take on country. Okay, state has law of constant summation of heat. Constant summation of heat. So according to S law, the amount of heat absorbed or evolved in a reaction is same whether reaction takes place in a single step or several steps. Then define state system, state function and path function. State function and path function. So path function means the function which depends on the path in which system transformed from one state to another state is called path function. So if it is independent of the path, it is called state function. So examples are work and energy or the work and heat are the path functions. Entropy, internal energy, all others are the uh, state functions. Similarly, define CP and CB. Define CP and CB. These are the uh, some of the other questions. Then, what are isothermal process? What is iso? What is an isothermal process? Isothermal process. Isothermal process means the process which is carried out at constant temperature is called isothermal process. What is an adiabatic process? Adiabatic process means the process in which heat is constant. What is an isochoric process? What is an isobaric process? So we know that if temperature is constant, it is called isothermal. If volume is constant, isochoric. If pressure is constant, Isobaric. If heat content of the system is constant, it is called adiabatic process. Adiabatic process. So these are the some of the questions from this concept of chemical thermodynamics. Uh, some more are there. Those will be discussed in the next video. Thank you for watching Trinath Chemistry classes. Don't forget to like the video, share and subscribe the channel.